My name is Alex Cecilia. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make bleed marks in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm actually going to draw a square. It's going to I'm going to make it. I'm going to count. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to count um, two in on each side. Two, so two num two in on each side and then two down. So two in, two down, all the way down to the bottom. So two up and two over. And the reason I'm doing that is because then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go to my layers and I'm gonna go to FX and I'm gonna go to stroke and I'm gonna add my line where it's going to be cropped. And then from there, I'm going to add, I'm going to go to the corner where my crop marks are going to be. And I'm just going to draw two lines, two black lines. And this is going to help me, when I print it, it's going to help me understand um, where it needs to be cut from the side. I'm going to make that stroke. Um, I'm actually going to redo this. Make sure your lines are thick enough. So you're going to draw it to the to match the corner, the corner edges of the box. All right, cool. So then I'm just gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna hold down Option, get that double arrow. I'm gonna pull it down, or you can just do what I did before and make the lines, which is a lot easier and quicker. One and one, and then just do that on all four sides. And see, my actually my red square is even on the. Okay, and then one more. So this is now, I'm, and then I'm going to go to view, and then show and grid, so that it gets rid of the grid. So now we know where all the crop marks are, and that's when I'm going to bring my photo back in, put it on top, and that's how you'll know if it's, I actually got lucky and it was in the right spot, but uh, that's when you're going to want to free transform your image to fit in your area that you want. But the whole reason that this even exists is so that you can do this. Um, you can make it giant like that and then if you put it on the bottom and you multiply this layer, that red line will show up as will the rest of the other marks so that when you print this, this is going to tell you where it's going to be trimmed so that when you print it, it's going to look more like that. And that is how you make bleed marks. My name is Alex and this is how you make bleed marks in Photoshop. Thank you.